Hey y'all, we are sewing up our Silas or Sloan sweatpant pattern. If you're adding any of the pockets, the back pocket, inseam pocket, or cargo pocket, then you are going to prep and sew those pieces first. I will link all those videos down below for you to see. After you sew the pockets, the first step is going to be to sew the side seams. To do so, place your front and back pieces right side together, aligning them on the raw edges. And from the waistline to the hemline, you're going to use a half inch seam allowance to stitch them together. Repeat that on the other leg pieces and add that cargo pocket if you are adding them. And then you're going to sew the inseam. So again, right sides together and a half inch seam allowance, stitch it from the crotch curve all the way down to the hemline. Then you're going to sew the crotch seam. So flip one of those legs right side out and place the right side out leg into the wrong side out leg. So they are right sides together and you're going to align the raw edges and the inseam and you're going to pin them together along the front and back crotch curve. Once they are all pinned together, you're going to stitch them together with a half inch seam allowance, and then you can pull the legs right side out. Next, you are going to either hem the bottom of your shorts or pants, add the cuff, or in this video, I am doing the elastic hem. For the elastic hem, you will overlap the edges and stitch it in place with a zigzag stitch to hold it in place. And then you're going to quarter both the hemline and your elastic. I have my pants wrong side out and I'm going to pin the elastic to the hem matching the quarter points and making sure the edge of the elastic is aligned to the edge of the pants. Then you will stitch the elastic to the pants with a quarter inch seam allowance, stretching the elastic to fit that pant hemline as you're stitching. If you're using your serger, I like to turn off my serger knife so I don't accidentally cut the elastic. Then you are going to flip the elastic on itself to the wrong side and make sure that the elastic is nice and tight. So I like to pin it in place and then stitch along the top edge of the elastic to hold it in place. Again, you're going to have to stretch the elastic to fit the hemline and make sure that you're using a stretch stitch here so the elastic doesn't pop once you put it on. Then repeat that step with the other leg and then we're going to add our waistband. So if you're doing the classic waistband, make sure that you have the marking on your waistband piece and if you're adding the drawstring to add the grommet and buttonholes. Then you are going to fold the waistband in half and sew it together and then press it in half wrong sides together and quarter both the waistband and the waistline opening. And with the right sides of the waistband to the right side of the pant, you're going to match the quarter points and pin the waistband in place. If you're doing the flat waistband and your fabric doesn't have much stretch, you may need to gather the waistline to fit the waistband. Then we are going to stitch the waistband to the pant with a half inch seam allowance and you're going to leave a two to three inch opening so that we can thread the elastic through the waistband. Now you can baste the waistband on first and then stitch it with your serger after you insert the elastic, which is what I like to do, or you can go ahead and just stitch with your favorite stretch stitch. Then you're going to thread the elastic through the waistband in that opening that you left. I do like to mark 
the same side of the elastic on the short end so I make sure that my elastic doesn't get twisted while I'm threading it. And then once you have the elastic all the way through with your safety pin or bodkin, you will overlap the elastic edges by half of an inch and stitch them together back and forth a few times with a zigzag stitch to hold it in place. Then making sure that elastic is up toward the fold line, you will go ahead and stitch that two to three inch opening closed and then you can press the waistband down and you are going to stretch your elastic to make sure that it is evenly distributed. Then if you're doing the classic waistband like I am here, we are going to stitch directly on the stitch line markings on our waistband piece. So you're going to stretch the elastic as you sew and you're going to use your favorite stretch stitch. I like to use a longer triple stitch here. You could also use your cover stitch machine and you will sew all the way around the elastic on both of those marking lines. And this is going to give you that classic sweatpant waistband look. If you're adding the drawstring, then you will go ahead and thread the drawstring through the grommet or button holes. And then your sweatpants are complete. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I will try to answer. As always, we love to see these sewn up and shared in our Facebook group or on Instagram at Made for Mermaids, hashtag Made for Mermaids Patterns.